Hey, what is going on guys? First you here back with another video and in today's video I'm doing another best class setup video. Today we are showcasing the K-Bar 32 Assault Rifle. Now, before I even start this video, this is definitely my favorite gun in the game. I love using this weapon. I've been using it for like a prestige and a half now. It does good medium range, close range, and long range. It's overall one of the best, or in my opinion, the best assault rifle in the game now today i'm going to be showing you guys what i use on it and how i get the gameplays that i get with this weapon so i'm pretty much going to break this gun or this class setup into sections like i did in my previous class setup video where i showcased the osa which i'll have in a link down in the description below but i'm going to start this video off by showing you guys the attachments that i use now to start this off i use the elo as my site elo red dot iron site whatever site you are more comfortable with i prefer using the elo because you can see a lot more unlike the red dot when you're using the elo you're not like trapped inside a box so when you're moving left and right while aiming in on your site you don't ever like lose your enemy within your site which is why i always like to use the elo even with the uh iron sight with this weapon sometimes you lose the enemy while you're sculpted in because like the sight itself gets in the way so that's why i like to use elo your reticle like floats in the middle it's very easy to see people and you rarely ever lose your enemy while you're in your site so I actually prefer to use a certain reticle on this site as well. I'm not using it in this gameplay, but that's because I figured this reticle out after I got this gameplay. But the lens reticle is like a little yellow curved square. This is just a really simple sight. It gives you so much room in your scope to see. It's kind of like the closest thing that I could find to a like straight up red dot sight, which is why I put that reticle on my gun. Reticle doesn't really matter at all, but it also doesn't take up a class slot. So whatever reticle you are more comfortable with you can definitely use and hopefully like it does me it will help out your gameplay now the second attachment that I use on this gun is foregrip I use this attachment on mostly every gun that I use in this game I use it on this gun because it helps you with those long-range gunfights this assault rifle is better off if you're in a medium to close range but it can also do a lot of damage long range if you know how to use it something that really helps you out if you're not too good with long-range accuracy is foregrip attachment it reduces the recoil long range which allows you to not miss as many shots and shoot more consistently and straight on your your enemies long range which is why I use this attachment on my gun second attachment is quick draw like I said in my last class setup video I use this attachment on every single gun it's one of my go-to attachments it allows you to aim in your sights faster which allows you to win a lot more gunfights if you have troubles winning gunfights it's probably because you are not using quick draw or because you are not shooting fast enough before your enemy it's usually whoever gets first shot in this game, but then again, if you're not using a variant in pubs, a lot of variants will destroy you, so if you do have a variant for this weapon, I would recommend using it just because that's how this game is set up. It's just like AW. If you're not using a variant against someone that is using a variant, chances are you're going to lose that gunfight. In this gameplay, I am using the String Theory variant. Now, this variant doesn't give you many added attributes. The only reason that I do use this variant is because it reloads your magazine every time you get a double kill, which is very helpful for my playstyle. I like to play very aggressive. So after I kill two people, I automatically have 30 bullets back in my magazine and I can just spray other enemies down. That's the only reason I use this variant. It doesn't give me any other added attributes that I actually use. There are other variants like the Invective, which gives you kind of like more damage towards the feet, but less damage to the head. That's a very OP variant if you aim more towards the feet, which a lot of people do when they quickly snap on to enemies. But Quick Draw is one of those attachments that allows you to win gunfights a lot easier and it allows you to pull up your scope a lot faster which is very key to winning gunfight. Now the third and final attachment that I have on this assault rifle is stock. That's simply because with my play style, which is a lot more aggressive, I'm always in the enemy's face. They're always to my left and to my right, and they're never really in a line, which is why I have stock. Now with the stock attachment, while you're aiming in your sights, you can move left and right well ADS a lot faster which allows you to clean up a lot more kills that are spread out while you're aiming down sights but that's all for the attachments that I'm using on this gun moving on to perks I have perk 1 as ghost and dexterity the same two perks that I was using in my last class setup video I use ghost because a lot of people are running UAVs in public match that's just what I've always found since day one of this game a lot of people are using UAVs and with Ghost you stay off the radar. It's very helpful for hitting flanks 
and for getting behind your enemies also for just running straight up a side of the map that there are no enemies on and just popping all the enemies off spawn while they least expect it which is why I definitely would recommend using ghost I use it on all of my classes in public matches the first perk that I put on to my classes second one and perk one is dexterity now this allows you to reload your weapon faster and switch from primary to secondary faster and I use this perk because I'm always in the enemy's face like I said and if you don't have a string theory like I do you do have to reload your weapon a lot it only has 36 bullets to a clip and if you're not extremely accurate with it you will be taking like 10 to 11 bullets per kill medium to long range that is close range maybe four to five and without dexterity you are going to be reloading very slowly and chances are you're going to get killed while reloading a lot of times without using that perk which is why i do recommend using that in public match with this weapon now for perk 2 i don't have anything in there there's not really too many good things in the perk 2 slot that i would recommend using i mean if you're going for like higher kill streaks with this weapon maybe for a nuke or something i would recommend using scavenger obviously so that you don't run out of ammo as quickly with this weapon but then again you could also use the man at arms trait on the merc combat rig which spawns you in with max ammo which is what i usually do with this gun but that's why i don't really use anything in the perk 2 slot and perk 3 i'm running hardwired that's because i can't stand it when people call in counter uavs in public match it really screws up my map awareness and i never know where the enemies are which is always throwing me off in games so i use hardwired simply so counter uavs don't affect me at all it also has a lot more pros to it including it counters a whole bunch of combat rigs it also takes away emp effects which is very helpful it pretty much makes makes you like a ghost. With that perk and ghost, you're really immune to almost everything that would really mess you up in a public match, which is why I would recommend using hardwired. You can also switch that out with other things. My perks aren't too big of a deal with this class. It's mostly my attachments, which do well for me. But Ghost is a very important perk. Dexterity is one of those that you can change around. And so is Hardwired. Similar to my last class setup video, the perks aren't too big of a deal. It's pretty much to your personal preference and what you like to do when you're using this gun. But that's the perks that I would recommend using. But that's going to be it for the class setup video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like because I'd really appreciate that. Also, comment down below what you guys thought of this class it up if you do disagree with anything go ahead and put it down in the comment section because chances are you could help somebody out in the comment section i'm making this video to try and help you guys out not everyone's going to do as well as me with this class it's based off of my play style and the way that i like to use this gun other people that play slower might like other attachments or perks on this class so go ahead and let people know in the comment section if you would change anything also subscribe to me on my channel if you guys are new i'm on the road to 200 subscribers and until next time guys i am out peace